Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about why you should use IHTTP Client Factory in ASP.NET Core applications. There's a full article in Microsoft Docs about it, but uh, I want to take a different angle and uh, show you uh, how uh, basically everything works and why it's important uh, to use IHTTP Client Factory. So open your PowerShell or CMD and run netstart-a command. It is showing um, all the TCP ports uh, that uh, is that are being used in your um, system. And right now um, there are a lot of ports uh, with listening state, which means it is uh, working. It is sending data back and forth and uh, so after one established, which is uh, the connection is open and ready to use, but uh, there's uh, not much going on. And also there are a couple of ports with time wait state. So what does it mean to be in time wait state? So if you check TCP socket states in Wikipedia, you can find time wait, uh, which is a time for server or client to wait and make sure that all the data packets are received or sent and then you can acknowledge uh, the connection during termination and uh, you may go back to established state or close the connection altogether. But the most important aspect of time wait state is that it takes time and your server or client is just waiting for something to happen. You might never need that time wait, uh, but uh, it's a making sure policy uh, that everything works uh, and you get the right uh, data. So what all of that has to do with HTTP client and HTTP client factory? I have two projects in here and this one I am using worker services to uh, send a request to an external resource using HTTP client. With each new instance of HTTP client, you get a new TCP connection. And with each new TCP connection, you occupy a new port. And when you are done uh, with uh, the connection and you receive the uh, result later, the operation system doesn't just let go of TCP connection, it has to wait and your port uh, stays in time wait state uh, for a couple of minutes uh, depending on your operation system or your configuration. It, may, it might take two to four minutes before uh, OS let, let go of the TCP port. So the problem is you cannot uh, create new TCP connections forever. Each TCP connection needs a port and you can only have 65,000 ports in your operation system. Uh, so it is very easy to hit that number in a high load situation. That basically is called socket exhaustion and it happens when you use all the available TCP connections in your server. And so uh, we want to avoid that. So before I go on and show you how HTTP client factory solves the problem, uh, let's uh, check HTTP client in a normal situation and see how it works. I have uh, another application here called Port Monitor App which shows all the ports that are being used on a specific IP and I am going to make connections to this website and this port monitor app is going to show me all the ports that are being used and we are going to make 10 connections and see how it works. So uh, let's uh, run both uh, applications at the same time. 
and then I show you uh, the results. So if I hit a start here, uh, you can see that uh, we make the connection, uh, we get the response, and our port goes to time wait state. And uh, this here is the seconds in which we have to wait uh, to uh, well, see that operation system uh, let go of these ports. So let's wait and see uh, when will uh, the first uh, port uh, release. As you can see, my application is done in here. I have sent all the requests and received all the results. But uh, in here, all those ports are being occupied and still in time wait state. And it's more than a minute uh, and I'm still waiting uh, to see what happens. So after about two minutes, you can see that one by one this time wait ports uh, are going to release and now uh, I can uh, make new connections and use the same ports as before or or, or even in new ports. Uh, it just it doesn't matter which port specifically but uh, you saw that HTTP client uh, use up a lot of TCP connections with new ports. So I commented these lines and uncommented the factory part. I'm using IHTTP client factory and injecting it uh, to my class. And also in my program.cs, I have uh, add HTTP client um, introducing the uh, IHTTP client interface to my application. In a splitted core application, uh, you probably add this to your configure services method in a startup file, but I'm in worker service, so it's a little bit different. So let's run the application again. And uh, here you can see that I am done again. It was fast. And uh, if I start, um, you can see that there's only one connection uh, and it is in established mode. Established mode means that the connection is open and uh, it's ready to be used. So when you're using HTTP client, it does not close the TCP connection. It uses the same TCP connection over and over again uh, until the, it reaches a problem or something changes in the background or uh, some situation has been uh, it needs to create a new TCP connection, uh, but it's not every time you make a HTTP client connection. So it, it does it in a very efficient way and uh, prevents uh, hitting socket exhaustion uh, so fast. So uh, you saw that HTTP client factory works in a much efficient way. Uh, the, the very important difference between using HTTP client and HTTP client factory is that when you're using HTTP client, uh, you need to use using a statement because HTTP client has I disposable interface in it uh, and you have to dispose and release uh, the resources uh, of this object every time you are done with it. Uh, so uh, that uh, in order that to happen, uh, the TCP connection has to be closed. But in HTTP client factory, uh, the closing of TCP connection is handled in different way. It uses a pool of TCP connections and it does not close the connection every time you are done uh, with a request. So it keeps it around until you dispose the factory object, uh, which can happen in a different timeline.
And that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this, um, please share it with your friends and uh, see you uh, in next videos.